<laughs> when I was a child, my miserable candy grubbing brother always ruined Halloween for me. You think that now I am the lord of everything that makes Halloween scary? I could really get into it. But the pack pest has ruined it for me again before it's even begun. Butler just reported in that the lemon louse foiled my last attack in under three minutes. Hey, fire ghosts are trying to sleep here. Don't you know who I am? Do spooks these days have no respect? There must be a monster somewhere in this vast netherworld tough enough to take out the pack pain. And we are going to find it. Twelfth oh, time today that I've been gulped and belched. <laughs> Congratulations. That's got to be a new record. Now, get back out there and do your job, Ruthless Whiner. Go <laughs> with Watch where you're going unless you want a black eye! None of my best monsters can stop him. Even my loyal dog has disappointed me, allowing the Lemon Menace to come and go as he pleases in my kingdom. Oh, that reminds me. Bad dog! Bad doggy! <laughs> Disgusting! Every dragon, banshee, sorceress, and troll we've thrown at the beach ball has been beaten, eaten, or worse. <laughs> we need a mega monster good enough to destroy the pack pest once and for all. Well, where are we going to get a mega monster? <gasps> I have a wonderfully wicked idea. The pack is back. Ghost chomping at his feet. Pack's our hero. Pack just can't be beat. Yeah! Pack a yellow packy string. He's a chowing down machine. Yup, monster goons. And only one can stop him. Pack Man rules. The pack is back. Ghost chomping at his feet. Pack's our hero. Pack just can't be beat. The pack is back. Straight. You look perfect. Thanks, silly. But I gotta admit, your Betrayus costume is creeping me out. Me too, actually. But too late to change it now. Dude, where exactly is special haunted castle Halloween dinner being held? The invite didn't say, but it sounds like it's gonna be an awesome feast. Ugh. I don't think the host of the party realized who he was inviting when he wrote, All You Can Eat. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. One of the perks of being ghost fighters is that we get invited to all the coolest parties. No kidding. Tonight, dinner in a haunted castle, and then back to town for the Prez's annual Halloween party at the Roundhouse. It's good to be us. Well, when we're not getting attacked by aliens and monsters or slimed by ghosts. No! No, no, no! The cobwebs are much too high. Nobody's going to be able to walk through them and get that creepy, I just walk through cobwebs feeling. Oh, I just walk through cobwebs. Creepy. Exactly. That means they're working. Everything must be tested to ensure maximum scariosity. No! Ah! <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> oh, oh, is the big federal agent scared? <laughs> well, Stratus, old friend, those gags aren't bad, but it'll take more than a rubber bat and a few cobwebs to frighten our young hero and his ghost-fighting friends. <laughs> cobwebs, schmobwebs. This haunted castle has to do better than that to scare us. Hey, I've even been a spider. <sighs> Me too. Yeah, and I've lost count of all the ghosts and monsters and mummies and stuff we've come up against. Been there, done that. I'd say we're pretty much scareproof at this point. You have arrived in Transylpakia. Do not leave the safety of this vehicle for any reason. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be scary cool! Better buckle.
buckle up tight. These roads can be dangerous. Haunted Castle guys go all out to set the stage. We have arrived. Welcome to Castle Packenstein. <laughs> really, you could stop screaming now. Whoa! Amazing! Great trick! That was super real looking. So much so, I'm not even sure how he did that. Guess they can do just about anything with special effects these days. Welcome to my humble home. Enter freely and of your own will. As long as the food flows freely, I'm willing. Okay, seriously impressed. They've made the joint almost as creepy as the netherworld. Everything is so realistic. It's almost as if this place is for real. Oh, but that couldn't be possible. Or could it? Greetings, my young friends. I am your host, Dr. Packenstein, and this is my lab assistant, E-Ghost. Nice to meet you both. <laughs> but I'm guessing you're the brains of the outfit? <laughs> A <laughs> good one, Pack. Oh, yes. Most amusing. Trust me, you have nothing to fear in my little haunted castle. Hardly <gasps> more than just smoke and mirrors, as they say. It is all to ensure you receive the ultimate Halloween experience. <gasps> hey, E-Ghost? <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> That's a relief. Yeah, but we weren't really scared. Much. <laughs> ah, I recognize the famous Pac-Man, despite your costume. But who are your friends? This is Spiral, and this is... Oh, Petraeus, <laughs> what are you doing back so soon? Uh, this is a costume, and I just got here. Oh, uh, of course, yes. Uh, just an April Fool's or opposite day joke, uh, but for Halloween instead, yes. I apologize that I cannot shake your hands. I have, through the course of my many experiments, sacrificed my body parts until being reduced to my current pickled preserved brain state. Oh, yes. I refer to my leftover limbs as my foot servants and handmaidens. <laughs> hey, Lefty, hurry up with those refreshments. Look at me! Oh. Oh. Worst servants ever. Just when you think you've seen everything. Please, make yourselves at home while I prepare a feast in your honor. <sighs> now you're talking turkey, and I hope mashed potatoes, and stuffing, and gravy, and whatever. I can hardly wait. Feel free to tour the castle while I retire to the kitchen. Uh, just avoid any hidden passages, haunted suits of armor, or secret laboratories in which unnatural experiments are being performed. <laughs> Not that we really do that sort of thing around here. Oh, careful, you brainless bicep. Whoa! <laughs> Me up, you dancing dolt! <clears throat> oh, and ignore the muttering mob outside. They're always griping about something or other. 
but they're nothing compared to my grouchy neighbor, Count Pacula. Hey, you mob, get away from my mouth. You're driving me batty. Well, if you'll excuse me, dinner won't cook itself, you know. The whole brain in a jar illusion is pretty amazing. I wonder how they do it. I'm guessing Egost is a ventriloquist. This has got to be the most elaborate Halloween party ever. Yeah, but it's funny we haven't seen any other guests. Well, it is a pretty big castle. We'll probably run into him. Let's check this place out. Ah, I love to cook. Creating a masterpiece out of spare parts. It's what I do. It's my thing. Snap to it, hands. Step it up, feet. Let's get cooking. We'll start with my boo-nana split surprise. What? Pepper! Who puts a fish bowl in a kitchen? It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait, no, that was me. No. This place puts the eep in creepy. I agree. What do you think, Pac? Pac? Eep! Ever get the feeling someone's watching you? Dude, not funny, Pac. Sorry, guys. I, I swear I have no idea how I got in here. I am concerned that we have not heard from our manufacturer yet. <laughs> Why are you so nervous about saying his name? Don't want to admit that another scientist has more juice than you. No, not at all. I just don't think it's wise to discuss our plans too openly. The walls have ears, and I hear sometimes eyes as well. Well, once our manufacturer creates the pack-destroying Mega Monster, it won't matter who spies on us. What? Oops! Did you say something? No, but I'm going to find out who did. Well, have you uncovered your spook spy? No, but I'm certain that somebody is spying on us. Well, I have to use the little ghost room. Have fun with your dim-witted delusions. Oh, poor Inky. And here's my favorite part of any haunted castle, the dining room. Ah, just in time. I trust your tour was deliciously frightening. And speaking of delicious, please be seated. Whoa, seriously delicious. The feast looks really amazing, Dr. Packenstein. But I can't help but wonder, where are the other guests? Me too. Isn't it rude when people stand you up? Wow, look at all this chow! No guests equals more for me! Turkey burger in the pack pocket. Uh, oh, that's most impressive. Let the consumption commence. <laughs> Bet this is even better than the spread at the roundhouse, which I can't wait to dig into right after we finish this. <sighs> I'm done. Uh, uh, I'm nauseous. 
I'm... I'm full? Wow! So this is what full feels like! That was the most astonishing exhibition of gluttony I have ever observed! Do you have a miniature black hole in your stomach? No clue! I just dig on chow! <gasps> oh, I especially like the turkey! Back at the dorms, we call it sleepy meat. This batch definitely has got me beat. Oh. Mm, time to leave anyway. We can sleep on the ride back. Oh, I wouldn't dream of having you sleep in a car when you could take a nap in the comfort of my car food. Well, I am pretty tired. <laughs> Let me show you to your chambers. Secret passage. Oh, cute trick. There we are. All the comforts of home. Okay, just a quick nap, then gotta go. Oh, can't miss the roundhouse party. Not you, Pac-Man. <laughs> I have an even better place for you to lie down. <laughs> Say what? Ah, feeling rested? <laughs> good, good. I want you at your best when I put my brain into your body. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gag, right? Just part of the ultimate Halloween experience? <laughs> so, yes a gag or no a gag? I really don't think that this is that funny. You wanna put your brain in my body? You're a terrible host! So they tell me. However, your body will be a perfect host for my brain. <laughs> Ye ghost, prepare for the final stage. There's gotta be some way. Uh, yes, my fairy dispenser. Once I power up, it'll be adios, Dr. Wacko. <laughs> Almost there. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. No berries for you, Pac-Man. That is, not until I am cozily confined in your cranium. I don't even know you. So what gave you the idea to cram your think jelly into my brain box? Well, I don't mind admitting I did have a little help from a couple of seriously evil acquaintances. <laughs> Dr. Peckenstein, I am extremely pleased that you've agreed to use your expertise to build the ultimate monster to defeat the Pac-Man. Uh, yes, that ghost gobbling tennis ball has overcome every attempt made by lesser scientists to defeat him. And by lesser, I mean you, you bumbling hiney head. And who's the one that always comes up with the ridiculous plans that consistently backfire in his farcically flaming face? Ooh. <laughs> Awkward. <clears throat> A toast to the end of Pac-Man's existence as he knows it. <laughs> but it is an amusing prospect. Quite the cackle. <coughs> you, no one out cackles me. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, you can stop cackling now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> indeed. I always intended to double-cross those senseless spectres and put my brain into the ultimate body, the body of Pac-Man. Well, that's really flattering, but I pretty much need my body on a full-time basis to, you know, get around and do things like save Pac-World and stuff. Pac-Worlders have shunned me and even called me a quack. Words hurt, you know. 
duck imitations don't feel much better. Now I'll show them that I'm not just a genius. I'll show them that I'm an all-powerful genius, starting by taking over Pacopolis. Hmm. I wonder why Pac and his friends aren't here. <gasps> Do you think they're not going to come? Oh, they're going to come, right? Now oh, relax. It's still early. I'm sure the lad and his comrades will be here shortly. But what if no one shows up? Or oh, what if the scary gags don't work? <laughs> we'll take the president! Worst bodyguards ever! Huh. Heck is usually first to the food. I sure hope nothing nefarious has befallen our young hero on this Halloween. You'll never get away with this! Any second now, my pals are gonna bust in here and kick your backside! Or jar! Or whatever! At any second? That tickles in a weird way! Whoa, whoa! I cannot believe I nearly ran out of blood oranges on Halloween! Oh! You and your wretched experiments, Packenstein! Worst neighbor ever! <laughs> I've done it! We're alive! We're alive! Pac-Man's perfect body is mine to control! Well, this is jarring. 